Welcome back to Talking Pop Culture, and in this review video today, we are reviewing a Batman One Bad Day, The Riddler, by Tom King. <laughs> Got a lot to say about this. Let's get in to the review. Now, after Tom King's Batman run, I said to myself, I'm never going to read Tom King again. Now, I picked up One Bad Day, Riddler, purely for the fact that I'm going to get them all. And for me to sell them in the future, it's easy to sell them in bulk. So that's why I thought to myself, okay, I'll pick up Tom King's one. And who knows, maybe it'll be good. But unfortunately, this book could have been great. And I know a lot of people loved it. But for me, it just dragged on. I'm not a big fan of a lot of dialogue. And I made that clear a lot of times. And I know a lot of people enjoy big dialogue but a lot of the conversations just felt like they were going nowhere and were just unnecessary you didn't have to have half of these conversations in the book for the book to be good being that it's a book about the riddler it's more of a psychological kind of thriller book with no action very minimal very minimal action the story about the riddler as a kid was great learning how he grew up and how he became the riddler and why was awesome. But telling those stories took forever. Yes, Tom King tried to go into more depth with the conversations and trying to tell this story of him as a kid and at school, but he didn't need to go that deep. Some of the conversations could have been cut into half and you still would have understood what he was trying to say. What Tom King does in his book, which I find he does with a lot of his books, especially that Batman run, he builds up a big climax and doesn't really deliver at the end. Not saying that the ending was bad, I did kind of like the twist, but the way it was going, I expected something big. And what else I just found pretty stupid about this book is that there were situations that Batman could have stopped the Riddler. He could have done it right then and there. And yes, I understand people that have read the book are probably thinking, well, hang on, the Riddler sets a stipulation towards Batman to stop Batman from stopping him. And if you actually go back and read the book and look at it carefully, there is a time right then and there when he could have stopped the Riddler. And to me, that just comes off as lazy writing. It's like, well, hang on, have you backtracked what you've wrote? Because this point, right then and there, Batman could stop him. But instead of having Batman kick his ass right then and there, he wanted it to end with Batman obviously outsmarting the Riddler. Now, I'll try to steer away from the negatives and point out some positives with this book. I really enjoyed the backstory of Edward going through school, dealing with students, dealing with his tests, dealing with his father. I really enjoyed that part. Mitch Gerrards, if that's how I say his last name, does a fantastic job with the artwork. Each character looks really good. However, Riddler looks probably the best. And the layout, the panel layout, basic, simple, it's what I like. So with all that being said, my final rating for this book is a three out of 10. But be sure to let me know your thoughts below. I would love to know what you thought of this book. However, if you're going to talk spoilers, put a little emergency emoji so people know you're talking spoilers so they don't go and read it. And if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button for your chance to either win a book or a $50 Amazon gift card. The choice will be up to you. There will be multiple prizes for multiple winners, not just one. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it the thumbs up. And as always, thank you for taking the time watching this review and I'll see you soon. Peace.